so guys we are in the center of the Liverpool again I'm gonna show you another area because there's a lot of nice little areas around so I'm gonna take you to Chinatown and uh, from what I've my research has told me this was the first Chinatown in the UK which makes sense because the Chinese people along with Indian people were traveling with the British on the slave ships and so this was the main port of entry for slaves into the UK and probably other parts of Europe as well so one thing is for sure they have the largest gate of any Chinatown in this country Chinatown itself is not very big compared to well I only know the one in London to be honest but this one is tiny but the gate is massive <laughs> I don't know what they were expecting to do but big gate hold on let this person pass so we can cross the street so yeah we're gonna go down there and then I'm gonna go down to an area called the Baltic Circle where they have um, little nightclubs and a whole new area um, commercial area that's been built up as well plus they have a six foot bronze statue of the living well no longer living <laughs> of the legend Bob Marley and it's the only country in Europe that I can speak of at this present time that has a statue of Bob Marley so I'm gonna show you guys that and see what you think there's a tour bus that you can take and go around to the famous spots in Liverpool you can hop on and hop off which means once you buy your ticket you can get off you can get off the bus wherever you want and get back on another bus and continue your tour at uh, the same yeah you pay one price only and you have 24 hours to do it so I think that's pretty good so it's the start of some orientals places look look at the size of this gate and uh, let's wait for these signs to change from red to green so we can cross so this whole area is part of Chinatown let's go yeah a famous cathedral over there you can just see the top of it but um, yeah let's go around to this other side so you can get a good frontal shot of this amazing gate yeah it's quite spectacular but that's all there is that's spectacular to be honest about this Chinatown massive massive gate not sure when it was built I can't remember but um, I don't know if there's any dates there but you can see it's very big compared to the one in London it's tiny let's see what information is here no there's no date of it here to speak of but there it is this massive town gate on a little bit most of these buildings you see are new the last six seven years or been re redone a lot of them in this area are for students like this building um, this this part of it is it's old and there's been you know they've just renovated inside but you can see from there down is all brand new and then the others you can see they're all new yeah 
Look at the size of this this gate. It's massive, man. very, very impressive and very old. Like I say, I can't give you a date, but um, it's quite old. So this is Chinatown. It's very small. Not many, not many businesses at all. Nelson Street, written also in Chinese. Yeah, they have some restaurants. But it's a very small area. Well, this street, um, the area is quite large, but it's mostly residential and not so much like you would think Chinese restaurants and, sh and our shops and stuff like that. It's more just for residents. But, um, and I don't know how the food is, but I imagine that it should be, it should be good. So maybe one of these days, I will come and check it out and see if I can get some good food and I can tell you guys what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not many places. And yesterday was a big bank holiday here in the UK, so Today, some of the places are closed. I think they probably partied too much yesterday. This one is open. So they, um, they're closed today. And you can see shutters are down on most of them. I'll explain after. Baby. And uh, yeah, we pretty much come to the end of this, the end of it. That's it. It's very small. Like I said, not too many restaurants, no shops to speak of. But the area itself goes down, but it's mostly residential. Like this building here is also new, but that's basically Chinatown, you know, some of the new buildings there for students, a lot of building going on in Liverpool, a lot. So now we're going to go to the Baltic Triangle, I think it's called, and this is like the place where they have all the nightlife, well not all, a lot of the nightlife, the clubs and all these kind of things. Yeah. So we're gonna go there and uh, on, on Jamaica Street itself is a statue of the legend himself six feet tall bronze so show you guys that I'm, I'm quite amazed that yeah they did that here in Liverpool but um, yeah these people love music and of course they love Bob Marley and love reggae music So I'm walking here with my brother, Genius, the drill at the controls, who is the man that started the radio and hooked up my studio and taught me how to do everything that I know how to do except for singing. <laughs> but he may help me with that still. You're a bad man. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice, little, interesting graffiti yeah, man. over there, so, you know, yeah. Yeah man, so me walking with my brethren, yeah, man. strolling down the streets, you know, so how, how do you think, how do you find Liverpool? Wow, you want to ask me about Liverpool? You know yeah, the man. first time I touched down in Liverpool, me tell you straight away. Fall in love with Liverpool. Love with years, man. <laughs> I'm ready to leave here, you know, so if you ever see me, see me relocate here, you no know, surprise. The man know? love Liverpool, yeah, man. man. But I, actually... I love England. Yeah, man. I mean, a few people that's visited me. Um, are shocked mm. and uh, they really love it here. Yeah, man. The vibe is the people are very, very nice, nice vibe, very friendly mm. people, very kind. Yeah. And um, you know, I mean, as a young man mm. or as a teenager growing up in, in the UK, mm. we always looked down on Liverpool and Manchester because it was like village, yeah, <laughs> not village, but 
not much going on, yeah. it's bush, country. <laughs> Everyone's in London, London. Yeah, London, and, and, yeah. and lots of factory workers. Yeah. And, yeah. But when I came here, it's a different feeling. I mean, yeah. I was much older, obviously, mm. and a lot of change. Mm. But wow, amazing. You I know? love it here, man. You know, I always keep coming back. And you hear that, people? So. Yeah. Come to Liverpool and check it out. Check it out. Check man. it out. Love it. So nice. The Beatles are from here, man. So yeah, man. Music is from here. Music man. is from here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Music is from Liverpool. Yeah, man. so come check it out, Rasta. I mean, I've been to London, but you know, I always I tell you that I won't put here, I won't take London over Liverpool. Over Liverpool. You know? yeah. Especially these days. Because London is, I mean, there's everyone there. It's nice, it's still England. Yeah. But you know, the, the pressure is too much. Is there, a, is there a pressure cooker? Pressure cooker, everybody's boiling, man. And pressure bus pipe. <laughs> pressure, <laughs> pressure bus pipe. Everybody is boiling. So, in look, London, this man. area is, they're doing so much building. I don't know if you, I hope you guys can see those buildings. It's going up, and what's up is it's new. All these things are new in the last eight, eight years or so. So, it's, this is called the Baltic Circle. Just bring it up. Yeah. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna show you of course all the all the clubs and whatever are closed now but we will show you as much as we can and so on yeah the baltic triangle man so if you come to liverpool ah yeah you see how friendly people are i'm telling you man if you come to Liverpool, make sure you come to the Baltic Triangle. Yeah, because all these, all these buildings here are new. Look, they're building, building, building like crazy. All these are new. Not since, I mean, actually two and a half, three years ago, they were building, I saw them building these spaces. Now they've up, There's a Baltic finished. Hotel there. Yeah, Baltic Hotel over there, you know. And this is called the Baltic Triangle, all this, yeah. this whole area. And the, what, what they had here before was a lot of warehouses that they've since knocked down and built these buildings. Um, and yeah, you have all kinds of stuff. You have business spaces, cafes, a lot of clubs. A lot of clubs around here. Um, I've been to a couple. And, and I have a, an acquaintance that has one. I will take you to the, the outside of it because they're closed, obviously. i show you. But... Um, it's a rocking area. Come here like um, later on tonight. <laughs> it's rocking and rolling, man. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, Jamaica, this is Jamaica Street, by the way. We're on Jamaica Street right now. And we're gonna walk up. Um, it'll be a crossover on the other side when we can. So there's one hobo kiosk, maybe some club, I think, you know? And they're building all the way down, all the way down and around. Things are going on. Yeah. The duck and swagger. Yeah. Another place been constructed over there. Look at the an older building they're re re renovating by the looks of it. Yeah. Some graffiti. See? There's a lot going on. Oh, is that the Fab Four? Yes. The boys. Right there. And you can see new buildings. All these, these new. New places. Yeah. Yeah, brother. You see what I'm saying? The people are friendly. You gotta come here, man. You gotta get over here. Selling doors and other bits and pieces. So we're on Jamaica Street. Jamaican walking up Jamaica Street in England. You see me? All you Jamaicans with that Jamaica. Jamaica Street, this. Yeah. And it's a beautiful day, look, all new, man. All new places. Big. Yeah, all new. Look, building like crazy. These are all new in the last three years. Um, it's still empty. 
that one. They haven't even opened up yet by the looks of it. Because it's just, just finishing. Yeah. All new, man. This whole street is becoming like a very chic, sophisticated area right now. One old building over there. It looked like it was some kind of hotel or something because it's got a reception there. I'm not sure. But something though. These guys are all new there. Baltic Creative. Yeah. Baltic Creative. There's a cathedral. It's a huge cathedral. Massive areas inside for people to hang out. Yeah. Brick Street. So we're in the Baltic Triangle and coming up to the man himself, the legend, standing strong, six feet tall, arms outstretched. In bronze. Yeah. That means that he'll be there uh, when we are long gone. Some new buildings over there going up and one up on the left, all brand new. And there is the legendary. Man with him guitar behind him back. Roots. Roots and culture. And in Depan Jamaica Street. <coughs> yeah. A bird nester. And I can see on him foot of clocks that in Clocks. Check it out, clocks. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, know that. <laughs> Our clocks are on the thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> they made sure to put that. <laughs> put that part there, you know. With the, with the clocks and everything. So, yes, it's a. Ah, uh, oh, a clocks. A clocks are doing it, you know. If you know where clocks, you yeah, can't go to Jamaica, you know. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> but it's Jamaica, number one favorite shoes from ancient times actually because of that clocks have been like become even more famous in the last eight ten years because of Jamaicans because every artist had that them I deal with male and female so this is my my friend's club it's the first one I ever went to um, of course it's shut it's called district and it's a really big place got an inside and outside the outside holds about three let me see if I can see some, yeah, maybe about a couple of hundred people can fit out here. Yeah, you can see a little bit, I think. And it's good size inside. Pity it's not open. Maybe another time I can go there and show you a bit inside. Let's see if I can see anything from here. If you can see anything. No, it's too small. I don't know, maybe. It's a whole area there outside that you can sit. And look at all these buildings. These are all, yeah, just finished. Nobody's even in them yet. There's two there, especially. And I'm sure soon this is all gonna be knocked down and built up. You know? Norfolk House. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think of the Baltic Triangle. Because um, it's pretty much the end of it. There's a lot more clubs around here but they're in these buildings and like i said they're all closed now because of course it's the daytime and um tonight they'll be rocking and jumping like crazy you know so what are you saying jota yeah so whoever you have the chance come to liverpool come to england make it here so come and check it out because we're enjoying it yeah man and uh one love, don't forget, subscribe, like, share. Yeah, and as we say, as we say, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell, tell a, a friend. friend. Keep telling a friend. To keep telling family. a friend and family. I say we do. Yeah, man. Yeah, Blessing everybody. Blessings, man. love. Yeah, man. And then, uh, you know, keep the vibe. Yeah, man. And we'll catch you on the next one. Respect. <laughs>